Hey, what's going on everybody? So this is just a quick video to show you how you can idle Steam cards without having to install the game. So if you go to your profile and then hit badges, you'll see that there are games listed that still have card drops remaining. So for example, I claimed this free game today and I don't necessarily want to install it, but I would like to get the card drops because you can craft it, craft them into badges, you can sell them, whatever, you know. They're pretty much worthless, they're worth like a couple of cents, but for some games they're worth quite a bit, so it depends on the game. So for today we just have this little game here. So if you click the game and you go to the URL bar, you'll see that there's a number associated with the game. If you click this in Steam, you will copy it. And now for the next step, you're going to need a source game such as Counter-Strike or Team Fortress 2 is what I like to use. If you right click Team Fortress 2 and then just find the local install where it is installed on your computer. And this is the path typically. You'll see here there's a Steam underscore app ID .txt file. All you need to do is open it with a text editor like Notepad or Notepad++ and then replace this number. Typically it will be 4404 TF2, but I've already changed it. And then just save it. Once this is saved, just launch hl2.exe, which is the Half-Life 2 executable for Team Fortress 2. And you'll see that you will get an error. So you just you can just move that out of the way somewhere. I like to move it to the bottom. Now when you go back to your profile on Steam, you'll see that it'll say it's playing that game that you, where you put the number in. So in this case, it's crumbled. All I have to do now is wait for the card drops to, to come, just idle. Uh, I wouldn't recommend running any other games because it can confuse Steam. So just wait for the cards to drop and after that's done, all you have to do is close this error message. And then if you want to reset the game you're playing, like Team Fortress for example, just launch it normally. It'll actually fix the Steam app ID text file to the normal one. So as you can see I'm launching the game here, I'm going to quit the game. And then when I go back to the Steam app ID text file, it has reverted back to the normal 440. This is just a simple way for you to be able to claim cards for pretty much any game that you own where you have card drops but you don't want to necessarily install it. And sometimes the games can be quite big, so it's a waste of your band. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please hit a like and maybe consider subbing. See you later.